What's up, y'all? Um, I just wrote this song this morning, um, December 15th of 09, and it's called Misguided Souls, and I mean, the Lord gave it to me, you know what I'm saying? Thank the Lord, he just gave it to me. I wrote this one real quick. It took like 20 or 30 minutes, and it was just you know, fluent. But uh, here it is. Diamond Princess Cut, shining in my dang ear. Rolling in my new bins, flossing on my peers. But don't none of them get jealous, cause their love is sincere. But that's not the way it goes. Some niggas and bitches act like hoes. Waiting for the moment they can step on my toes. So I keep a watchful eye, staying alert every day. Praying my enemies just pass by. Cause I know they want me to die. But I don't ask why, and I don't worry at all. Cause they can't stop my destiny. Just like they can't stop the snow when it falls. My Lord controls everything, including them and Satan. So my crew and I are untouchable un until we're taken. Now who's going to join? Don't you want to contribute to evil being destroyed? Jesus sent me to gather the misguided souls. Gave me the wisdom to mold. Recruiting God's soldiers. Who's going to roll? You pick a quarrel with me, you're picking a quarrel with God. His enemies are my enemies, and vice versa. So I ain't concerned about evil people coming after me trying to commit murder. When you thought the thought of trying to hurt any of God's children, our Lord heard you. Now you better be prepared for the slums, for bumping your gums. When my Lord Jesus comes on his glorious throne, all the fake phonies will turn around and run. But ain't nowhere to go. Should have took heed while you had a still had time to grow. Now time is up. Jesus came and got us and locked the door. If you were wise, you would have believed in Jesus way before. Jesus sent me to gather the misguided souls, gave me the wisdom to mold, recruiting God's soldiers, who's going to roll. Now I'm starting to see why my Lord shows me, shows me some people will think I'm a thug, cause I don't kiss nobody's butt on myself at all times. And people get mad cause I have some faults, but my life was still bought by the lamb's precious blood. So I'm walking on concrete, never walking in mud. I smoke a little bud, but that's all the bad I really do. Still, my Lord reveals his secrets to me, the perfect picture he drew. And his, he's drawing his children nearer. And he's using me to state his plan even clearer. See, because when God delivered the Israelites from Egypt, he used a mere man and gave Moses his entire plan and guided him to execute it to the T. And I feel Jesus is doing the same for me. Only now we're up against someone greater than Pharaoh. We are up against the beast. And blasphemy against God is all he speaks. So God sent me here to reach all the misguided souls. So to my thug nation, listen to the words you're being told. And uh, you know what I'm saying? This is just for any uh, misguided souls, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's in turn from Jesus or, you know, that... Uh, not rolling with them, that it's time to get aboard, you know what I'm saying, before you have the fate of being here with that Antichrist, man, and, and him, you know, and being in that tribulation, the, tri the tribulation and then the great tribulation, the first three and a half years, the first three and a half years is the tribulation, and the last three and a half is the great tribulation, you know what I'm saying, so it gets it gets worse and worse uh, each, each, each segment, you know what I'm saying, so y'all just, uh, just watch, be abreast of what's going on. Read that Bible. Get in Revelations deep. Get in Daniel 12. Deep. Get in all that the prophetic stuff. Matthew chapter 24. Luke 12. Um, Mark 13. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Luke 21. Luke chapter 21 and Mark 13. So get in those, you know, and, and read them. They got a lot of end time events. Uh, Second Thessalonians, Thessalonians and Second Thessalonians. They got a lot of uh, end time stuff in them, you know, so, so check it all out. You know, all you misguided souls, I pray in Jesus' name that we all be, you know, all saved and be guided the right way and herded, you know what I'm saying, as sheep in the herd. And, uh, and Jesus be our, he is our chief, you know, shepherd. And uh, he's going to have us all together, bunched up, and he's not going to let not one of us. Get out of that bunch, and uh, I pray that in Jesus' name, the harvest is huge, Lord, and the workers are few, and we need many, many, many workers, Lord Jesus. Send us more.
more workers to work on your harvest in Jesus' name, Lord. Saying healing, Lord Jesus, and healing for sickness and diseases, Lord Jesus, through you in your name. Saying the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, to people, Lord Jesus, and let people receive your word, Lord. Let them understand what is most important in this world, Lord Jesus. And it's not gossip and lies, Lord Jesus. It's you. You're the truth. You're the best. You're the best. None is better than you, Lord Jesus. You feel, I feel your presence. You know, always, you're always here. And be for here for us. Just like you hovered around the earth, you know, when it was formless. Uh, when at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? You hover over this earth now, your spirit, you know what I'm saying? We can, you can see everything in the entire world, Lord. So thank you for everything. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the levels that you are letting me attain in your name, Lord Jesus. And I pray that we all be mighty soldiers, soldiers and warriors in your name, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. So, yeah, man, uh, we're going to stay on it. We're going to work hard. And, uh, you know, any of y'all leaders out there, you know what I'm saying, the leaders out there, you know, step up to the plate and start saving souls. You know what I'm saying? All, this, all you got to do is preach that gospel of Jesus Christ. He'll do the work for you. You know what I'm saying? Understand what you're preaching, you know what I'm saying? And then and do it, you know, work on it, you know. It's not going to be, I, I, I know for a fact, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying, I've been through the stages of trying to be completely perfect. I done tried it. Extremely, extremely, it's kind of hard. But uh, we still got to work on it, you know what I'm saying? And I haven't gave up on that, but I am, I mean, shoot, I am a little bit light on myself, you know what I'm saying? You stress yourself out, you know what I'm saying, trying to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna it's not gonna happen, but you can uh you can you can limit things, you know what I'm saying, and work on it. But it's not it's not like in my dream, you know what I'm saying, the December 12, 2012, where, where the hypocrite I call him, you know what I'm saying, told me, uh, you in order to preach to the people, you 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 have to be perfect. You can't do no wrong and and you can't just you shouldn't have to work at being perfect, you should just be <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? It's a hypocrite because he, any, you know, uh, and he talking like he know the Bible so much. If he knew it, then he know that that you can't, that nobody on this earth is perfect. John himself said that. Read the, the Gospel of John. Nobody's perfect. If you say you are, then you're lying. You you calling God a liar? The only one that was perfect was Jesus Christ. He's the only one. Everybody else has imperfections. So you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be hypocrites out there like that. You know, but uh. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, all I can say, you don't know where I came from, you don't know where I've been, you don't know what was the circumstances of my life, and neither do I know about you. That's why I don't even judge, you know what I'm saying? All I know is how you treat treat me, how you treat others, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I look at all that, you know what I'm saying? And I look at how you treat somebody else, you know what I'm saying? How you treat me, you know what I'm saying? I keep a watchful eye, you know what I'm saying? That's what this is about. Also keeping a watchful eye, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody, uh, when you get to the top, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't happy for you, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people might not be, you know? But the Lord got protection out like, of this world. Like, he gave me this dream last night where just like these people ask me, you know, well, you know, you a man of God, so why are you even worried about it? If anybody is after you or anything, you know what I'm saying, why would it bother you? And I was like, nah, it don't bother me, you know what I'm saying, but it, I, I mean, I do have a right to, uh, to feel like it's not okay, you know what I'm saying, like, or whatever. And it was like, they was like, nah, they was like, well, they was like, uh, well, shoot, and I was thinking in my mind also, I was like, well, shoot, man, anybody that's, uh, that's my enemy is his enemy, anybody that's his enemy is my enemy, you know what I'm saying, so I was just, I was just thinking that, you know, but I didn't say it out loud, they were just saying, you know, you gotta have faith in the Lord. That he, he's the protection, you know what I'm saying? And he not gonna, and I, I had another dream kind of like that, you know what I'm saying? The Lord just saying, no matter what people got devised plans or trying to put you in the path of or anything, it won't it won't prevail. No no weapon formed against you shall prosper, you know what I'm saying? And that's the same for y'all. Body of Christ is all about believing. When you believe it, ain't nothing can stop us. That's what it's about. That's the limitation of what you believe and what you don't. You know what I'm saying? That's the limitation of it. Of how you can get where you need to be. So keep working hard, keep persevering. If it's an obstacle in front of you, man, just jump over that mother. Don't even worry about it. Don't even, you know what I'm saying? Don't even worry about nothing. Just know the Lord got you at all times. He got you, and He's he not going to drop you. All right? So thank y'all for.